Good evening. Welcome to Team Fortress TV. This is Marble. I'm joined by TurboTabs. And, of course, David the Win doing the production. That guy works so hard, Turbo. Oh, yeah, man. He is, uh, he's just the only one that turns up, I suppose, at the end of the day. But he's got passion in his eyes. He just wants it. I can see the fire. And if he, he gets it at the end of the day. I think he's streamed like over 50% of the game so far this season. Uh, just, just, just don't have the words for this man's dedication. But we're not here to celebrate David the win. We're here for the ETF 2 season 22, powered by Saloon.tf Premiership. We're into week six now, and the two teams facing off tonight. They don't really have a snowball's chance in hell of making it into the playoffs, but they are both potentially candidates for relegation. It's Danger Dogs by TF2Pickup.net versus Serpents, and. They're going to be playing on Sunshine as last week and Granary Pro. Turbo tabs. We've got some stats. And David the Win. He's cracking the whip. David the Whip. Uh, so we'll get things underway by jumping straight into the dogs roster. And right. Turbo, uh, I believe there's been some changes here. Uh, yes, actually, if you look at the stats above us, if, uh, above us, uh, right in front of us, uh, Skeej on over on the Danger Dogs roster is not playing tonight. I'm afraid he decided to announce this over on the actual event over on the Team Fortress Stop TV uh, website. So yeah, he won't won't be playing tonight. He isn't quite enjoying TF2 with this team as previous teams, so he's decided to just back out before he loses the world to TF2 in general. So instead, they've picked up a completely unknown person called Honey Badger. Kangozoi! <laughs> yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. I have no idea about Honey Badger. Uh, currently, Danger Dogs are bottom of the table. So uh, looking at their stats, you can see Kratos is actually ranked as the fifth best ever, man. He's punching above his weight, or he's carrying this team, I guess. Uh, but Razor's Edge seems to be the worst scout in Prem, judging by those rankings that you see in the brackets there, guys. Uh, shots fired already. I haven't even seen the guy play it all this season, but I'm going to jump ahead into the Serpent's team sheet. I am opening that report. Thank you, gentlemen, John, oh. for your incredible stat system. And uh, as you can see, it's going to be the roster that rocked TLR last week. White Glow, a Medic, DDK, Demo, Shadowburn on Roamer, hopefully, Forsaken on Pocket, and Unhuman, and the Beast that is Kenzie <laughs> on Sniper. Yeah, I think I've, ever since uh, Kenzie's interview last week, I've become a big Kenzie fan, and ho hopefully he'll turn up for another interview tonight. And just come in and drop some bombs in the interview after dropping big bombs as Sniper. That's what everyone wants to see. I hope I uh, didn't enrage the Russians last week when they just left Bumble. They couldn't uh, couldn't handle my blonde Irish stylings. We'll go ahead though and keep the stats moving. We will take a look at the team head to head, and this is uh, representative of what each player contributes to their team. You can see it as a percentage at the end of the bar, but also the actual stat, the the raw number there, near closer to their name. Uh, so what we can see here, according to the log so far this season, Kenzie has contributed 30% of the frags on their team. That is like quite an achievement in itself when you consider there are only really five fragging classes. Well, I actually, it's actually created a scroll bar on my screen. I have to like go all the way to the right to see his contribution <laughs> to his team. Good God, I've never seen a stat like that for anybody ever. It's been... Even players like Mike and uh, Flippy and whatnot, who sometimes just end up just dragging their teams through the mud, carrying them on their back, and uh, even they manage to just get like probably a high twenty, but thirty percent—that's untold. Uh, that's just unheard of, admirable. I would almost have to like question: Are these stats accurate? I I <laughs> thought there was something wrong. I double checked them. You earlier it said uh, it was like sixty percent. I was like, oh, that can't be right. So we flicked it down to thirty percent. So uh, we can't go any lower with my. <laughs> I have complete faith in these numbers. Uh, you can see actually 
Forsaken is the top damage in there, there for his team. GDK didn't really have a great game on Sunshine last week. Apparently it was the first time he'd played it. Maybe the same for Unhuman? Or Kenzie, I forget. One of the players, or two of them at least, didn't hadn't played Sunshine before. So you know they'll be well warmed up this time. And uh, Kratos seems to be doing more work for his team as Demo Man there, pumping out that damage. But who do you see as the, the real threat on the Danger Dog side? I haven't actually seen them play yet this season, Turbo Tabs. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to go with good old fashioned experience and probably the soldiers, Zub and uh, Calho. They've played for about four seasons or so now in Prem, probably give or take uh, for both of them. So they should be pretty uh, well versed in their role. So hopefully some of that experience just starts kicking in and really shining, I suppose. Maybe Zub is probably my standout of the two. Zub. I love that guy, but he's never lived up to my expectations. Zub, I'm going to be scowling when I watch you play today. It's going to be a very harsh critique. I've got some rage to unleash Turbo Tabs, and it's going to be just heat oh, onto Zub. Well, I, seeing as we're talking about Zub, we actually have got a player <laughs> head-to-head. Uh, with Zub and Forsaken and uh, the interesting thing about these two soldiers is they both used to play the roaming soldier quite a lot but they both adopted for this season the pocket role so I just want to see the stats reflected in that so let me see if I can open up here we've got it I think <laughs> I click the button anyway oh we're going again oh, wow. okay <laughs> double refresh <laughs> you know these uh, these Look at stats Zub's are very stats. crispy Oh, okay. It is, like, in terms of the ranking of his peers or whatever, you know, you can see he's like around. Uh, I think he's second, second to last, almost. Maybe, you, at least on this kill to death ratio. If you think that there's like two soldiers in every team and uh, eight teams, that's 16. And on KD, he's 11. Right? So yep. he's near the bottom, somewhere in the middle. Is he playing Roma or Pocket for this? I team? think he's playing Pocket. I, f I thought he was playing Roma between Cal because I think Calho has played Pocket in the past. But then uh, watching one of the last games, I think Calho was roaming and Zub was actually pocketing a lot more. Maybe he was actually just I don't know poor play at the time. But uh, either way, I I I'm certain that Zub is playing Pocket. Forsaken was going absolutely bonkers in the last game I saw. The last two maps. He is really firing on all cylinders, it seems, this season, which I was just uh, lamenting the fact that they'd actually put together a good roster halfway through the season, or more than halfway through the season, where they'd already lost so many points to kind of actually contest the playoffs. But this team is looking pretty devastating. One player who wasn't looking too hot is GDK. Let's look at his head-to-head -head, uh, with Kratos. His uh, he's only played four games or four maps even as bars represent so far, so, uh, but he's currently lagging behind. So he'd be looking to get some easy stats tonight. He'd be padding those stats against Kras against Kratos and Danger Dogs. He hopes, I imagine, but currently uh, I feel like he's shaking off the rust. Turbo times. Yeah, he was such a powerhouse name back in the day. Uh, what with his showmanship with the crit stickies and whatnot, probably at least about three seasons ago. Or so, but uh, he eventually dropped off with the appearance of Death, Ukrainian, and uh, he was probably Death was more of a solid candidate, and he really showed a lot more promise, I suppose. And they just kind of went with him as GDK fell off in activity, uh, inactivity, I should say. But uh, now he's back with Death mysteriously going. I'm not sure if uh, this is just Forsaken pulling in old players just to patch up people that have gone missing, or if he's actually cut Death for GDK. Maybe that would be a good question to ask them towards the end of the night. Yeah, there was that big uh, roster reshuffle where they like ditched Xiaoyu, who had been playing Medic. Obviously, White Grove's a, a straight upgrade there. But also, Lippy axed as well. So they've got pretty much a mostly Russian team now, so I'm actually accurate when I say Russians. And just Kenzie is the uh, sole Ukrainian. Uh, that's my understanding anyway. I'm probably wrong. Uh... But let's jump ahead then to the last stat report that I always seem to forget about. It's going to be their result history so far this season. It just gives you a kind of idea how they've ended up, where they've ended up. So Dogs currently at the bottom of the table, only four points gained so far this season. And uh, 
all four of those against Animate not so long ago on product, product and process. But neither of those maps are being played tonight. They got smashed against Full Tilt on Sunshine and Process. I'm not sure what to expect from them tonight, but judging by their season so far, Turbo Tabs. Serpents, the clear favourites. We don't have any betting tonight. There's no bet on Celine.tf. Who are supposed to be sponsoring this league, but can't even get bets up. What's going on, Jill? Oh, I, uh, their, their loss, I suppose. You know, it's just money burned out the window. Maybe everyone's just been they're looking over at greener pastures. Maybe looking at that Overwatch. But uh, no, I think uh, it's just a fact that we didn't provide a spread tonight. So uh, I'm sure we'll have live stats uh, for the best of the games this week. But uh, as for looking into the actual stats of. Uh, their wins and losses, and uh, you can clearly see you would write about the uh, roster change. Uh, as soon as they made that change, roughly in week three or week two, they've immediately done much better by just uh, pulling in these jaws, the serpents. And uh, I guess from here, they've got Danger Dogs and Lego, you know, arguably uh, some of the easier teams that they could actually face up against in this ETF to our season. So uh, they're looking, it'll be much easier for them to pull out those wins from there. Yeah, Serpent's currently uh, sitting in sixth position. Apparently they've gone live, David's telling us. Is that in real time, David? That is in real time, that is right now. This is it, in my world. This is season ETF, to, uh, I mean season 22 of ETF 12, powered by Saloon.tf. And the first thing I'm seeing on mid, in my world, is some uh, small little pressure on the point. But White Glow's already been taken out by Zoob, the big Zoob man. Maybe his playing room after all admirable. And Kenzie's just trying to size up against three players and he's actually winning. He has taken out Honey, but he's just lost his entire team off the back of that. Shadowburn is still alive. He has uh, gone on top of the bell tower. See what he can do. And look at all these low players. It's just target practice for Shadowburn, but he's being overwhelmed. There's just way too many. It's like that moment when you're playing a deathmatch server and it seems like the entire world is against you, but you can't do anything. But it's over. The first mid is gone, admirable. It has gone to Danger Dogs. Are you surprised? Shadowburn joined blue team, but everybody else joined red. They're so rude on those DM servers. I'm, uh, yeah, I am <laughs> surprised. But look at Razor's Ace. He's just hiding. Nobody's looked at the corner here. Three shots. Oh. He's going to catch White Glow. And that Uber advantage that they had there off the respawns has just been wiped away. All Danger Dogs need to do is keep Honey alive. In comes the Forsaken Bomb attempt. Inhumans trying to come in from Floral, but the real threat is Kenzie just walking in on the right hand side, he's trying to bomb rush Kalio, but gets double teamed by him and Zub. Nice synced rockets there, sending the Ukrainian scout sniper to the spawn queue. Is he going to come back up on sniper? He might want to because they are a major disadvantage here, Turbo Tabs. I think if I saw Kenzie alive and he was playing scout, I would kite him as much as possible and just never kill him. He needs to stay on that scout because I'm a lot more scared of his sniper, but uh, Shadowburn's trying to jump in, see if he can make something happen on top of Honey, but he's just not making this easy for them. I don't know who this Honey guy is, but he seems to have a, a basic grasp of what's going on. I had a quick look over onto his uh, stats um, from etf to well his past experience. He has played a few Highlander seasons, so uh, maybe he's just like another Highlander talent for this Danger Dogs crew as they're pushing into last with this uber they already got a lot of point presence that's very good from the dogs they're practically uh, captured they just need to knock people off there you go the first round quickly goes to danger dogs already admirable are you not entertained solid execution there on that uber push as soon as they saw the, the russians retreat into spawn straight onto the point got that cap time and then forced the issue there and that was super effective we're going to go into the second mid right now and I'm uh, watching Kratos roll out from Floral. It seems both teams. No, actually, uh, the Russians are coming from Choke, but they are now in position on middle. Forsaken's going to jump back onto his own roof, and Zub mirrors him, just spamming those rockets down, trying to set it up. Shadowburn was thinking of jumping in, but jumps back towards Flowers, and they seem to be beating out the aggression here from Dogs. They clean up Zub, then Kalho instantly, but Kalho manages to trade with Forsaken, and now Serpents are ready for the repush. It's turned into a 4 and 4 though as Shadowburn jumps in and just skips off Kratos' head but nice focus fire there as Tonmas protects his demo man and the fight just keeps dwindling here. It's 3 on 3 with the Ubers being popped off but oh wow White Glue doesn't have his yet. 88% he's looking for the magical saw. He needs the saw. He oh. can't nail it but <laughs> just ends up dropping there right at the end and Kratos comes out on top on another middle here Turbo Tabs. 
Yeah, it was a great team execution by Danger Dogs overall. They sent in Zub, and he didn't have the greatest bomb uh, to start off with. Forsake had uh, actually uh, delayed his bomb during that to just deal with uh, Zub, but Calho followed directly behind, and uh, then the scouts followed up um, again after that. It was just really good uh, play. They didn't kill all the players, but they pushed them out, and it made that brief push really ineffective. Forsaken on human, picking up those kills whilst I was breaking down that last middle there. How rude of them. But now, hopefully, off the back of these little picks, they can maybe uh, pull apart danger dogs are swiftly trying to get out but not Zub though Zub is hiding in this base I'm not sure if anybody's noticed him yet he's uh, actually shadow burner has noticed him but he's still just jumping about back there being a constant little pest someone needs to call the exterminator admirable he's picked up that med kit lower and he's been called out there on humans trying to isolate him or hunt him down uh, meanwhile his scout partner Kenzie has switched up to sniper here he's gonna pop off a shot and give away uh, the fact that he is playing sniper, but with the uh, uber advantage favoring danger dogs, we're just going to see serpents retreat here. Kenzie going to headshot honey though. How did they not realize that Shadow the sniper behind. was still a threat Shadow there? behind killed the person on the point admirable, but uh, Calhoun just pushed him off now to finish off Captain. Oh, has he forsaken? Has just uh, decided to enter the game. He has just completely killed Calho and uh, stopped that cap from just tipping off at that little tiny edge there. But uh, it just sadly does not count for Danger Dogs in there. Just gonna. Uh, oh, wait, actually, can they just get that? <laughs> yes, they are. They just catch him on there for the feet. Zoom, what a player. And he has. he's even got a way to, uh, to tell the tale. My God. And that's actually gonna get Kratos uh, forward spawn there. So Demo Man is gonna be arriving to middle just as this push comes in here from Serpents. We see White Glow walking forward with Forsaken. The combined soldier spam here from Kalyo, Zub, and also Kratos spamming there from behind the hut. But they're. Uh, playing it very cagely, they don't want to get caught out with being too close to this potential uber from White Glow. White Glow's just working his way forward here. They know they've got a lot of time, they do get two picks there. Both soldiers going down means they don't even need to pop this charge as they walk forward. They're going to be able to cap middle and second for free, most likely. It's a shame that uh, that spam was really good coming out from the Danger Dog soldiers, but they were sat in such uh, a defensive position that the, so uh, the, uh, the rockets just fell off in damage, uh, as they do in TF2, and they just did barely any damage to White Glow. White Glow just shrugged that off as he pops in now onto the last point. It was a very early pop, so I'm not sure what they can really get done with this Uber. There is a heavy weapons guy up for Danger Dogs, and uh, that's sure, uh, like, constant fire and... Uh, constant danger from him is not going to uh, lead to the last cap for serpents. It's just way too much pressure for them to deal with. So the last cap will sti still be under the Danger Dogs banner. Both soldiers there were really weak for dogs, but none of the Russian players wanted to uh, follow up on that serpent scout, so them to just sit back and stay alive here. And Forsaken's decided to come up on spy. Uh, there will be a move forward here from dogs. They're looking to take control of their lobby. They're trying to play from that upper area, top of the stairwell, and they're just poking out to see what the setup is here, but they will be almost certainly not expecting Forsaken to go spy. Oh, yeah, as I say that, Razor's just no, he's shoots just, him there, does he realize? He's, he's disguised himself as a friendly sniper, keep in mind, and uh, is he actually you, he's using the dead ringer, so they think he's de uh, actually uh, came back as a sniper, but uh, these are a bunch of Highlander oh, players, wow. surely they must know, they must have heard that sound <laughs> in their sleep, admirable. It's just such a prevalent sound, and anyone and their grandmother could hear that sound uh, go off. That, I'm not sure the Dead Ring is really uh, viable for 6v6, admirable. He didn't make it work that time, and he's about to respawn. What class will he... No, he's gone soldier, but Kenzie has decided to go sniper here, and... Uh, this is going to be interesting to see how they want to work this. Are they going to play defensive with the sniper or try and move them forward to get a pick here onto dogs? We do actually have uh, dogs team comms as well. Let's let's see how they want to react to this sniper. Stop it, right? Yeah. So I'll go uh, sniper right. Buff me. I'm going right side. Watch out I'm for the sniper though. Kills. Don't hear me, sorry. The sniper top left, sniper top left. Took 40. No. Sniper down, nope. Do you, do you want to look for the trade? Can, no. can, can you go in, Kalo, and die? No. I bet you could have died. It's so bottom. easy to die there. <laughs> you still Let me die. Uh, nice. Right. Nice. Two pick. Let's go now. Kalo suicide. Kalo suicide. Okay, Pay for the fourth. Uh, uh, picking left. They are out lower left. We lost the trap. I like your trap. I like your trap. Top left. Top left. Three players. Top left. Three players. Top left. We need spend. Top left. I'm spawning in 12 seconds. 
We need to play Solution. slow. Can't slow man. them down. Can't Careful, Thomas, they have top left, sir. He's gonna spawn in time. Well Sniper done. the frag, guys. Nice. He took 50. Nice. Top I, ammo headshot. I need ammo bad. Sniper's Careful. gonna go for Sniper another shot right. soon. He's, yeah, he's right. still right, he's still right. Don't peek here, Harvey. No, I have the machine. Go so to the right. bottom. I'm trying to help you, Kato. He's out. Sniper will peek one more time, careful. You know there is. They didn't even pop you. Nah. Careful, demo was taken last time, top left. I'm the sniper. Still oh. there, he's getting hit. Meza closer. Uh, I'm going, going for HP. I'll rotate to British. Yeah, I'm not. Seems like Danger Dogs don't have any plans about pushing out turbo tabs. They're just uh, calling out positions of snipers. Uh, that was his one idea was to suicide in Kalo when he already had a two man advantage. <laughs> Why didn't he just walk forward as a team? I, I just saw uh, Kalo was already in during that call. Maybe he just noticed that he was definitely in and he was just going to die and maybe they'll make a push of it. But uh, it was immediately shunted down once Kratos actually uh, went down to a sticky trap there. Uh, I couldn't help but uh, chuckle. At uh, Razor's Edge, a little comment on to Kenzie there. Noob. Little noob. <laughs> oh, uh, Calho is trying to make another uh, suicide play, but he doesn't uh, quite get something this time. He is taken out, and let's see if uh, it is really up to the Russians to make the push off of this. Usually, the one the offensive team usually has a sizable advantage, uh, what with the possibility of these back caps and the respawn queue being slightly shorter. So we'll see what they can do though. It seems this they don't want to, nobody wants to push in this game at Bible. Kenzie the noob is uh, gonna <laughs> work his way up there on the top right on the attack perspective and finds the head of Kalio. But are they actually gonna commit to a push off this? They're gonna send Forsaken in to try and get that force, but the oh fully spun up heavy weapons guy is just gonna chew through him. And it's actually Razor's Edge who steals that frag, but I don't think Victor was gonna get much done. So, admirable, say you're... Oh, okay, Kenzie uh, taking out Rage's Edge there on the sniper, who's the noob now, Rage's Edge. And, uh, but, oh, good God, Kalho with the close range... Uh, like, he gets bodied very close range by uh, Kenzie, and now they just decide to Uber in with it. They've made uh, made the Uber exchange happen for Danger Dogs. They're trying to bite off what they can do, but Kenzie's just like a filthy disease, picking them off one Shall by burn? one. The filthy little slasher, and now he's just on top of the point of the whole entire team of serpents, and it was over before it was even said admirable. Kenzie, he gets to work quick. Like, for a team that seems so determined to turtle up and defend on last, they really lost their shape after that Uber trade. Danger Dogs eventually getting picked apart there, and serpents equalize to make it 1 1 here with 18 minutes 25 seconds on the clock as we arrive on the third middle. Kratos still running that quickie bomb launcher. But both soldiers from Serpents jumping up top. Forsaken is going to jump forward with Shadowburn just falling and, and <laughs> synchronized behind him. But Shadowburn ends up trading him and Kratos gets cleaned up by Razor's Edge. And it seems to be going the way of Serpents here as Unhuman and Kenzie are unleashed onto Honey, the substitute medic, who gets slain on choke there. And dogs are just scattered all over the place. They were uh, let off their leash there in the park of middle. <laughs> Well, uh, over on Sunshine, you really don't want to lose these mid uh, fights at Mario Ball. Even losing them just a little bit can force you to give up second very easily, as it's one of the hardest points, uh, in my opinion, to defend uh, without any sort of uber advantage or uber at all, really. And uh, we do actually see Danger Dogs trying to make an attempt at, at defending this out, and it seems like uh, none of the Serpents really wanted to make a push of it. Uh, they hanging about in Garden for now, but uh, a little bit of dog pressure is coming out. Razor's Edge even taking the first foot forward, seeing if he can quite uh, get got that. crits coming up soon. Yep, and uh, he is sitting very close though. Can he uh, just build it just in time? GDK does take out Kratos. Uh, Forsaken goes down in exchange though. He's And they're just holding back, and now the crits gets popped off. The famous Shadowburn crits, the one that got six kills. It's got one kill so far. Can he match his total from last time? It seems not admirable. It's, it's only going to be one kill for this week. They've uh, bought themselves some breathing room here though and I'm surprised just how far dogs have backed off, like they have a, an uber of their own to be using. The Russians are all clumped up at choke there, imagine if they were close at hand, they could destroy them but they're sitting all the way back on second, waiting for Razor's Edge to spawn, he's clearly their hard carry. We can't push without Razor's Edge guys, what are you thinking? <laughs> Well, um, they are pushing up against an Uber. Let's see what the Russians Shut can do. The, the double bomb! The 
double rocket synced up bomb on top of Honey has just forced him to drop. Oh, a blunderous little mistake by Honey. He should have seen that coming. Uh, pushing into a point, you're going to expect some resistance from the opposing soldiers. And now uh, you just see they're getting cleaned up one by one. It's just Kratos left, and he is the final one to fall. It's probably going to be the easiest second points of Serpent's life, and maybe even last point of Marable. People are still not looking for Shadowburn. Like, it's got to be your top priority playing against the Serpent's team. Anytime you have advantage or you're transitioning between points, you, when you walk through that choke point, just like walk in and then walk out again, just long enough to beat out Shadowburn. If you can kill off Shadowburn in pretty much any situation against this team, you're going to have a much easier time. But here we see uh, Chris Action coming in on the left hand side is White Glow and Shadowburn walk forward. Zib's gone down to a fat crit rocket. But Shadowburn can't find any more frags here. There is a uh, sentry gun over there, right hand side on the attacker's perspective. But now Shadowburn's <laughs> going to jump forward here, and they have killed off Honey. Medic down yet yeah, again, 20 seconds spawn, so the heal advantage here for White Glow and Co. They just need to try and regroup. Kenzie, or Unhumans, uh, circling around underneath, but it's GDK and White Glow trying to edge in on the left. They're looking to make an open here, but they just want to retreat and use their crit advantage. I think they're going to let Honey respawn. Mm. Uh, well, they did everything they could do, possibly do against that uh, crit screen. They went engineer, they went pyro. These classes that are very good at countering the crits, and uh, it's paid for the off them in the end. It allowed that uh, even that re push in from serpents to not fully work. They do pick off Calho again, but that's all part of the plan, the Danger Dogs plan. Admirable, never push suicide Calho until he does some miraculous five man kill. Forsaken has now turned to suicide in and he gets completely picked off by the sentry gun <laughs> and now Tom Mass has uh, crits in from this right hand side but it's pitiful, he doesn't hit the barn, the barn side, uh, the barn side of a barn door <laughs> and now and, uh, Danger Dogs are completely crawling all over this point, White Glow is already sent all the way back on humans hanging out in this lobby, he might get a pick onto Kratos but the pipes hold true for the German demo man and it's nice. going to be an easy second point for them. No, oh, it's just like Shadowburn wastes three crit rockets trying to an air shot on Zub. Then he's like, "Fuck this!" Just jumps in and kills the medic past the entire dogs team, no problem. Uh, but eventually, dogs they manage to uh, take control of the situation. But they're currently being pressured hard by Shadowburn oh, and Forsaken. But Zub out of nowhere picks up that frag onto White Glow, just surrounded by blue bodies. He was, but somehow makes it work. But again, we see dogs with both their soldiers down, their flanks wide open, Kenzie's coming in from the left as they try and back off the lobby, but luckily they are safe. Forsaken standing right there on two health, but Shadowburn appears just to give Tonmas there around the lobby area. And dogs will have a little uber advantage here, Turbo Tav, so I reckon we, we hear what their plan is for the push out. For what now? A uh, 90%. Yeah. Go right. Someone cover under. Hello, you must demo overextend. Do that demo scala. Who's down? You will need to stand each hello. Scott. Scott. I'm dying. Scott left. Okay. Get to yeah, on the point. Sorry. Come in. To get kept on the back. Point. No one went under. No one went under. I can't commit to the push. I'm gonna watch left. Like. Get the cap, guys. Sorry, son. Need help. Scott last. Scott last. Scott last. Yeah, I'm watching last. 70 HP. Let's go back to you. I can't push without leaving one on last. I don't know why no one is working on that. Uh, yeah, but down. we are all. We have four people to the They're pushing that. They're in. Go the other soldier, please. Turret. 200. You need to push the uh, sunshine so slowly. We went to the. all faster on the point. We had like. So many people. No one went under, and then we had yeah, only Thomas and Lobby. You're leading us where we're all weak. And not even uh Oh, Kalo should have died though, but we did. That's fine, I'll play in the middle. Where do you wanna go? Oh, Forget uh, that. The bit bickering, the brothers, Cressus and Razor's Edge. I, I can't stand it anymore, not like this. Not like this. <laughs> Well, uh, we all launched into the fourth middle of my one. The first pick has been slain, forsaken, but it was all a ruse, a distraction. Shadowburn got some very healthy damage with the honey, but he has backed off swiftly, left his uh, team almost pissing in the wind there. They have to back out as well, and now Shadowburn has just been rewarded, trapped behind enemy lines. I'm not sure what he can do, but if there's anybody that can do anything, I think it would be Shadowburn and my one. We believe in you, Shadowburn. You can do it. 
Right now though, dogs walking forward and they're taking control of the blue lighthouse. But look at this double scout uber coming out from White Glow. They're trying to assassinate Honey before he gets his charge up, but oh, they were so close. Honey survives on 30, pops off to save him and his teammates, and the Russians end up totally horribly overcommitted. White Glow's gone down, so is Shadowbird and Unhuman. But they are unperturbed to continue to try and make something happen here. They get the pick on to Honey eventually, but they haven't managed to block the cap, and it's only GDK left alive here with his quickie bomb launchers. Manages to focus down Tonmas, but the point is being capped. It's times one though. No, it's really on there. The <laughs> oh, huge block coming up there, and Serpents might just have clutched this defense. Oh, beautiful GDK. Oh man, GDK needed to use his stickies uh, to fight off the aggressive scout there and it left the point bare. The Danger Dogs realised this, they got on top of the cat point, but Shadowburn, like a bolt of lightning, just comes along and slaps both of the soldiers with like a couple of rockets and knocks them off the point and it let, allows his team to respawn and kill them off. What a big clutch by Shadowburn and now he's even picked up a a kill onto Zoom now, but they're completely overwhelmed in this lower area. Shadowburn even being picked off there and now Light go to flop, uh, to Kenzie follow, doing you know. work though. Kenzie sneaks in behind, kills off Honey, and then starts to cap on the point. Got it about three quarters of the way along there, but uh, oh, White Forsaken, Glow going down. Forsaken's taken out Kratos as well, who's trying to go under. He's going to get on top of the cap point and completely back cap them, but whiffs the air shot onto Calho. But that has brought back two players, and now GDK is trying to move inside this lobby, deny some more areas for them. Razor's Edge gets picked off by some sort of trap or skirmish in that fight. Oh, nice. But Calho uh, makes the swift revenge kill onto the Russian demo man, and I guess it's just back to square one admirable. Yeah, there was uh, some kind of Russian conga line going on there where they were just sending players out one at a time to try and back cap, but GDK's death marks the end of that, I think. Uh, Forsaken with the buff now, peeking into lobby, is getting a lot of information for his team and setting up the distraction for Shadowburn. He was trying to poke from that close left doorway, but neither soldier uh, yields a frag there with this spam, but Forsaken is still in the lobby here, and they can see that it's clear, so they're starting to move the team forward a little bit. Kenzie's sniping, though, so there's not... Uh, great options for him if he wants to get aggressive from last. He is watching that roller door right now. Uh, not sure if they're aware of it, but they seem to be making a smart choice here. Dogs by hopping up onto the uh, upper ledge, but Shadowburn just pre-firing them here with rockets, making it really uh, difficult for them to push, slowing things down. <laughs> Zip is just oh, about behind, to the, discourage the, him. The big flank from underneath. Nobody was watching underneath Admirable. Uh, Forsaken gets killed off, but he's forced off Honey. He is so happy with his efforts now. And uh, they're just trying to make what do they can. Uh, make do what? And uh, trying to make what they can of this Uber, but they can't achieve anything. They decide to just back off and defend second. And it's now up to the Serpents to make the push with their full Uber advantage. Let's see what they're planning. There's some on the defense. Defense. Tell it. Forty percent. They definitely have. They're, they're in. They're in. They used. Not just that. Nice. Nice for play. Watch it. Choke. Come choke. Come choke. I mean, it's working on. I'm just taking it. Solid going. Okay, no choke. We can go in if you want. So just close. Fear. Go flowers. Come flowers. Come flowers. 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 They might try to push flowers. Have yet. They haven't yeah. seen it. Flowers. They're going nice. flowers. Meet them. Demo soldier flowers. 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 No, well. Yeah, this yeah that's it's stupid. Fine. It's fine. It's got a mat here. Just push last already. Medic is stuck in. Yeah, let one scout go. I'm in lobby. Scout in lobby. Scout took 100 B. I need Got to pack it. though. Ammo, I don't have any stickies left. So bad. Okay, I'm going I need last to from under. Anyone? I can't yeah. push. Too late, too late, too late. I'm up in one. Well, Let's have a huge advantage. I'm up. Medic didn't heal for a while. I'm coming to choke. I'm coming to choke. Pretty uh, unforgiving that push through flowers there. It's like one of the hardest areas to control. Uh, horrible to play in there as Medic and Honey ends up succumbing to the double soldier bomb, giving White Glow a big 70 or 50% advantage here as Serpents look to move forward from their lobby turbo tabs. What do you think of Honey's play so far, Marble, being a medic yourself? Uh, has he impressed you at all, or is he just being led by the crazy general Kratos into his death constantly? I uh, haven't seen any uh, big clutch moments so far, but you can tell there isn't uh, maybe a little lag in uh, chemistry. This team is clearly new to the roster, but Kratos is holding forward here, screaming for Medic, but he's been hung out to dry as his teammates all retreat. Kalo who died previously, is going to be back in the field in five seconds, but already the Russians pouring through, choked for a second, just jumping up onto his own half of the roof there, but 
They're trying to uh, spam out and discourage dogs, but they are long gone, tail tucked, and already setting up the defense here on second. I wonder, has anybody spotted Shadowburn hiding in this corner? He's just going to walk out anyway from Cafe, but he's a little bit ahead of his team, and he's already 30 health. But, oh, I was about to say he's going to survive, but Calho just jumps in there to hound him down, and that's the key player in my book dead right now. Dogs should be feeling confident, even though it is Zibra versus Zibra. And they're walking in from Cherry Zoo, makes the first jump forward. Calho backing him up. Forsaken has now counter popped, uh, actually used his Uber, and that, uh, the counter pop actually comes out from Honey. So it's full uh, aggression on set for Danger Dogs. They're just pushing across the point now with their entire team, and they're getting kills left, right, and center. They pick up GDK, they pick up Forsaken, they pushed out the rest of Serpents, and they don't know what to do with my but they're just hanging back, and they finally decide to go back onto second and defend from the point there. Back to your question uh, about Honey as well, like pretty much any medic is going to be a downgrade from Skeeds. There's only a few I would rate above him playing in Prem at the minute. Uh, but he's in here, he's doing work, and again, Shadowburn, who just spawned, has, has gone down. So if I'm dogs, I'm feeling good. That's my <laughs> high value target I'm looking to pick in every engagement. Both soldiers down here, and they can cap second slash fourth pretty easily and already begin to walk forward with a lot of that spam damage missing. They're going in, they're already in in Mario, but they've now used the Uber, they might even catch off White Glow. Oh, he just gets his Uber in time, and here's the counter pop. But look at that cap time at Mario, it's beautiful. And they just can't quite make uh, make it, and maybe they can quickly sneak somebody onto there, but you actually have GDK already blocking up, and the dogs are absolutely screaming, howling at all the damage that uh, Kenzie's laying upon them. Zub is trying to get behind, he's trying to get on top of the point, but he notices the stickies. GDK slaps him down with the pipe, that's a second point already capped for Serpents and it's deciding the momentum has gone the complete other way of Marble. Yeah that was a, a dog shit play from Danger Dogs like <laughs> totally overcommitted to that what should have been an uber trade like they were definitely aware that uh, their opposition had charged. Uh, so what's going on here some sort of back cap under threat there's a player behind here Razor's Edge is dancing around against Shadowburn on uh, Serpent CP2. Shadowburn's chasing them around. Kenzie's coming in for the pincer and they do manage to take him down with the focus fire. Zub going down there but does kill off uh, or set up the frag on to GDK for Tonmas. Tony uh, catching spam there at range is on 50 health. Wants to run away for the med pack leaving his team here to try and contest middle and that's probably going to work out well for him because the uber comes in slightly beat it there. White Glow pops when he probably didn't need to. Honey's survived, trying to meet up with his teammates. The Russians aren't even trying to kill off Honey though, or Kratos. They're just looking to collapse there on Floral, get all those uh, retreating players. And the, the numbers here and the position for Danger Dogs just isn't good enough to try and contest second. I think that uh, Uber there was more of a green light to go for the Serpents as they just launch into middle and uh, completely knock them off the point, forcing them to back out second and they even try and bite off more they can chew here by getting second as well. But uh, you see it's completely left their defence com in tatters and see they just can't hold on to it admirable. Well, they have to re-give up second and uh, this is very back and forth for the fourth round. Yeah, the score currently still 2-1 in favor of Serpents and there are 2 minutes 45 seconds left on the clock. Kenzie's playing Sniper right now and he's trying to work his way up through Cafe looking for an opening shot here but a few of the Dogs players oh, already walked oh, through oh, choke. Shot. Kenzie body shots onto Honey there. No frag though. callow has gone down though and Serpents still have uber advantage and now they have man advantage to add to that. They're trying to walk forward here. Their combo has gone deep into lobby there and cut off the retreat of Honey, get that med pick and they're just farming frags here, Tonmas gonna lay his life down for nothing and Serpent's looking good to extend their lead here, they're gonna walk forward and focus down Kratos, both soldiers giving him a tough time Kalu trying to jump in from spawn to make something happen on the point but it's gonna end up a complete wipe as Honey just respawns it goes 3-1 Serpent's I believe they've just hit almost a tilting point there Realizing how much momentum and the fact that that last push has completely <laughs> failed them. And, uh, he takes yeah, they, chat. Well, he's not far off. It is technically mathematically impossible. Two minutes, impossible. two rounds. Come on, never give up. 
Yeah, but you're already arriving to mid and there's only 1 uh, minute and 40 seconds left. Can you really cap middle, cap second and cap last in 40 seconds and then use the next minute to ca uh, cap it off and get a tie? I'm not sure about them. But uh, they're you're doing a good job of convincing me. Trouble. Yeah, they're convincing me so far to be fair. And now Danger Dogs have racked up a lot of kills and need to start capping right now. They need to get on their horses and just go. There's no time to waste. There's no time to deal with all the pesky little people behind. And Shadow has actually decided to interrupt Tom Mass on this midpoint but oh, can't no. quite hit him and now Tom Mass uh, they're actually all c capping off second maybe they'll do it who knows they're making very good time so far but there can't be any mistakes at Maribor. On human just ran in and find a gap as all the players were pouring from cafe onto fourth there on human just finds the gap and guns down honey so that uh, crits I think it was crits doesn't even get played big drop ski and Dogs, uh, they can type GG now. I'm cool with that. But <laughs> 40 seconds left on the clock. This Danger Dogs, uh, you know, momentum here comes to a shuddering halt around the blue lighthouse. It's gonna be pretty much all for Sunshine. The first map here, but stay with us because we will be going to Granary Pro. Well. Uh... I don't know what to really make of that game. It seemed like uh, Danger Dogs have it in the bag, but then again, if you revisit back to a lot of their games uh, over the season, Danger Dogs seem to be very well organized in the first minute of the game. It takes like a minute for their opponents to wake up, and then suddenly they just get completely shunted and knocked down and start to just degrade as the game goes on. And it happened here on Sunshine as well. I think uh, we'll have to take a look at the logs to figure out what exactly is going wrong here. Because I was almost expecting Serpents to smash them 5-0, but Dogs at least put up enough of a fight to draw the game out a little bit. Although in fairness, this was the map that <laughs> Serpents couldn't even cap a single round on against TLR, right? They ended up 2-0, and they kept failing their last pushes, but at least they've addressed that. Uh, it seems it takes like a week or so for the Serpents to kind of pick up on whatever new map is introduced every week, so if any, if the ETF to our seasons to go anything by, uh, Serpent should be struggling on Granary now, and uh, so and maybe Danger Dogs can make the little comeback from this point. I'm checking out the logs right now. I'm going straight to that damage stat, and up top, as you may expect, it's Forsaken and Shadowburn. Uh, Zub is hot on their hands there, but they have significantly more frags. Forsaken 21, Shadowburn 23, but even above them, it's going to be Kenzie up there on 28 frags, continuing to, uh, you know, support that stat we had in the pre-game that he produces 30% of all frags from their officials so far this season. Unbelievable. Well, apparently be believable looking at it right now. In terms of the air shots, so again, Forsaken and Shadowburn up top there. Kalu uh, actually seemed to do alright, but Zub was getting a little bit manhandled. Who can we point the finger of blame at here? Gonna go to the death stat up top on the deaths. Calho down a lot, but got a lot of frags. Uh, that's not telling me much, actually. I guess. I guess you could probably point the finger over on the scouts and danger dogs. Whilst uh, they didn't do terribly, by no means, it's never been like the worst scouts that I've ever seen. Uh, stat wise, but uh, if you look in comparison to Unhuman and Kenzie, Kenzie uh, rocking a really high damage stat as well as Unhuman uh, rocking a really high kill uh, per death ratio for his team, it just shows that the Serpent Scouts have stepped up their game and Danger Dogs have not. It's like uh, they're, they're, <laughs> the Dog Scouts, they aren't necessarily uh, playing terribly and dying a lot and feeding, they're just horribly mediocre and not really doing contributing as much to their team as uh, Kenzie and Unhuman have been, it would appear. Yeah, um, I guess Honey, when, you're, also, when, you're, uh, when you're at this level though, Admire, where you really need to pick up your game, you're Prem now, somebody This is like whenever team. Kratos played Scout and did nothing <laughs> for a whole season. I thought it was a good thing he was on demo, but now they've got two other Scouts who are doing nothing! Nothing! Maybe they're just learning from Master Kratos. The general oh of the team. Micromanaging everybody, he's pulling the strings of my boy. Look at the med stats, man. Honey, seven more deaths than White Glow. White Glow, obviously, a boss at staying alive. But also, that meant White Glow had 
six, four extra uber charges. I'm good at maths. Uh, honey dropped three. One of those was a crit, so at least one of them. Uh, White glow dropped one. So, you know, this uh, re short notice replacement medic still trying to adjust to both playing in the prem and playing with this roster. Honey did actually put out a lot of hadens in fairness, but the deaths, the drops, really going to hamper your team's ability to you know, get into the game. Even though they won four of the five medals, they couldn't actually turn those into rounds. Yeah, it's very strange. You can even see how much they fluffed up their pushes by uh, just by the, the medic stat deaths uh, within 20 seconds after Uber. That really shows how much uh, they went in with the Uber or got react. Uh, reacted upon and still ended up losing on the fight that they really should be winning and if not winning at least surviving so you know these ubers becoming catatonically bad uh maybe it, honey's to play maybe it's the team i'm not quite sure honey uh with uh 10 assists there as well where's the like, whose responsibility is it to keep Honey alive, or why? What is the disconnect? Is Honey hanging back a little bit too much, creating this space, or is it someone on the dogs team that isn't taking responsibility for keeping this poor guy alive? Well, Zub is the one who, whose responsibility it falls down to, and he has had a, a somewhat high death stat for a pocket soldier, so maybe... It goes to show that not, it's not quite Honey just completely slipping through their fingers, it's probably just them reactively just dying as a team rather than just honey uh, getting picked off but uh, either or it still it still could come down to whether or not the medics being in a completely aggro position or uh, the team just completely fluffing up any sort of defense uh, for their medic I think uh, watching the game though I would probably lean towards the side of the team failing as a collective rather than just all down to honey Moving on to map two then, it's going to be Granary, the pro version. Uh, and if you haven't seen TF2 in a while, there are some significant changes here. The least obvious one is perhaps the spawn times. No longer if you get wiped the middle, are you unable to defend your own second. New spawn times will help with that, but also around middle, wider areas. Some of the doorways have been widened at various points in the map and some of the visual clutter and hiding spots removed. But another thing as well is that uh, if you uh, control CP4, you actually spawn farther back on middle. So it's made the, the map a little less punishing, I feel. Yes. But it's still that classic uh, granary mid that people love to hate, especially scouts. Yeah, uh, as far as the middle goes, it's been completely untouched. Maybe the doors leading into middle are a bit more forgiving, especially uh, the doors over in the corners of each map. Usually very it's a lot wider on the yeah. left and right, you know, along the channels. Oh, so it is, yeah, yeah. It is, uh, so maybe a slight little change, but uh, at, at its core, it's uh, mostly the same. You even see there's a respawn door. That is the a fresh respawn that if you are controlling CP4, that is where you'll be respawning instead. And uh, I guess it just helps uh, just that little bit more. It, it may not feel uh, look like a lot, but it feels a lot bigger than than it is. Yeah, of course, uh, we played this map last season as well, but nobody felt strongly enough about it to have it removed, and we ended up running the same map pool again this season. No new maps added, and uh, nothing removed. So Granary, the map that always ends up like 50-50 in the public vote, has stayed in. So, uh, so this will be the second map here. Serpents have taken all three points on the first map, Sunshine. Danger Dogs now uh, won't be able to leapfrog over Serpents if they take three points here, but... They need every point they can get if they want to try and avoid relegation. This is their second last game of the season. Will they be going down to the high tier next season? Now we find out Turbo Tabs as we head off to the first middle here. Yes, if you are just joining us, this is ETF 2 r Season 22, powered by Saloon.tf. This is Week 6, this is our gra granary coverage. This is Danger Dogs versus Serpents. We'll see what they can do on this mid. They need this point, like you, I mean, this map, like you said, for uh, to get really... Uh, to avoid that relegation spot and uh, the first jump I see from uh, Zoo has not paid off quite well. He tried to get out there but he was finished off by Forsaken by the long range rocket. Kenzie's trying to pressure up the Razor's Edge but he holds his own and uh, as you see both of the soldiers for uh, Danger Dog slowly dying out but uh, it seems the 
player advantage is it just completely won the fight for them, even though they were in horrible positions, Danger Dogs. I guess uh, they just have that more scrappy DM admirable. Yeah, Honey going down there, but White Crow survives, so big advantage here for Serpents, but kind of tricky. It's not an easy push to make from second to third. Even with these changes, uh, Kratos is taking a peek at the yard there to see what's up, but Razor's Edge is actually behind in the lunchbox, tries to get the frag onto Shadowburn, but is bested. Shadowburn picks up the kit, and uh, on top of the uber advantage now, Serpents have that one man advantage, so walking forward here with a combo on the left hand side, Forsaken's going to jump up to contest the crate. Uh, GDK is going to jump forward as well, White Glow's kind of exposed, catches a spam rocket and just pops off that uber. And it seems that apart from Zoob enough, there'll be no real casualties here for dogs. But as I say that, Forsaken gets in deep onto Honey. Gets him down to 40 health there before eventually being mauled by the dogs. And now the roles have reversed here. Dogs now having to push from second to third with an Uber advantage turbo. Uh, almost getting caught out, Kenzie, there. But they decided to go on GDK instead, but it was all elaborate ruse and... Uh Shadowbone managed to weasel himself in and get on top of Honey. He forced out the Uber on the bright side. He hasn't dropped though, so maybe that's a victory in of itself. They are continuing this fight to middle, and they're picking up uh, both the uh, the scout kills over on Serpent. So that will be a middle point for them. They're still uh, pressing forward. This Danger Dog. I'm really liking their aggression, but uh, they need to cool their wits about. Them. They want to hold on to this middle. He's ghosted in behind. Nobody's looking behind for Razor's Edge. He's on the white oh, but he whips it! <laughs> oh no, what a poor, poor situation to be in as a scout. The huge pressure on your shoulders. You just know that the TF Team Fortress TV camera is going to be right on top of you, punishing you for any missed shots you make, and uh, it just happens to fall uh, through the fingers of Razor's Edge. And, but on the bright side, though, Calho has forced off uh, White Glow, though. It's a lot harder to miss those rockets than it's going to miss those scattergun shots at Mariable. So uh, the Uber has been forced out of him, and they have that Uber slowly coming up for them over on Danger Dogs. They popped off that Uber on second now. They picked up the GDK kill there, seeing if they can chase down any more. They're hot on the, uh, the tips off the oh, second base. Oh, Forsaken's going to get out! No way! Is he going to pick up the health kit and continue to get out? He's uh, managed to get on top of the high ground to avoid this scout. He's launching himself forward. He, oh, he tries to land on the health fragment. He just quite I love this game. whiffs it again. Hits the like little bridge Kenzie's bit. above. Kenzie's above behind. He's waiting for the distraction from GDK perhaps. GDK's just setting up stickies. But Kenzie's lurking up top now. He's coming in. He's going to drop onto the point. He actually gives himself away with a shot first. And three shots he managed to do but Razor's Age could not. And picks off a medic with a back turned. Uh, Honey now <laughs> down for another 12 seconds. Kenzie is going to be more than happy with that play, but his teammates are just kind of sitting around on second. DDK setting up that classic sticky trap up in the little uh, spinny thing above the point, and now they're going to move forward. Kenzie's going to be back on the field momentarily, and Serpents, they're raring to go. Yeah, Shadowburn is behind, uh, David uh, Thubin alerts me. He is so far off the map, I didn't even see him with my wall hacks admirable. Good God. And now he has been cleaned up though, no effect has came from that Shadowburn aggression and this has kind of uh, stunted the push from Serpents, but it looks like they still want to go in. Look at Kenzie! He's just manning off on the left hand side, completely hammers uh, Kratos down to the ground, smashes him into the floor, smashes Kalo into the floor. Actually that was Forsaken, but still everybody's just being mashed into the map admirable. They don't need no st uh, stinking over, or maybe they did, they actually did pop it off there, but still. It was a very, very impressive play coming out from Kenzie there. They're seeing if they could pick up the second point for free as well, but Forsaken actually gets cleaned up there, and maybe this will be a deja vu. They'll make the same sort of similar push. They almost have the U, but not quite yet, though. And uh, the Serpents are backing off there. Oh, fool me once, fool me... Uh, uh, fool me twice, admirable. They're not going to fall for the same tricks again. The Uber is coming up for Honey. They're looking to push from this uh, left-hand side. This big door is allowing a lot more teammates to come in unhindered. They are catching a few spam pipes here and there from GDK, but this is the easiest mid I've ever seen a team take. They've just completely walked in on this left-hand side. Everybody from Serpents has backed off. They just don't want to get caught by that Uber, admirable. And uh, they have been caught nonetheless, and Human and Forsaken gets uh, picked up by it. And uh, I guess they're just happy that they still have second, I suppose, and an Uber charge to boot. Yeah, Unhuman has definitely started or shown some progression as a player, but he 
does get caught in those situations a lot. I guess he wanted to try and help Forsaken out, but Forsaken had got the foresight, oh, and human. then the human okay. gets caught anyway. They force out the charge here, but uh, if dogs can just kite this for a second, they're going to have a big man advantage temporarily in this fight. There's only Shadowburn, White Glow, and Kenzie forward. The rest of them are just trying to get in. So uh, as Zib forces his way in, he almost sets it up for his teammates, but Shadowburn hits some of the crispest rockets. He smashes Zub into the ground and manages to surf out on that damage and somehow he survives and just turns that whole engagement around. Serpents now with a little edge here. They are actually at an uber disadvantage. Honey sitting on that charge. But uh, potentially they could have smashed it. They just hesitate it. Let's see exactly what dogs are thinking though with this charge. What do they want to do? Right. Dodger was rammed just now. Let's go. Where's Carl? They're all close. Coming in fast. Come Come left. Go, go, go. Let's go. Shoot the demo. Shoot the demo. I'm dead. I can get to them. Okay. Demo's dead. Demo's gone. They're stuck okay. behind. They're gonna they have you Come back and drop I'll down. I'll go back for a play. Yeah. Uh, no, we already have one dead. Just spam them and say life. No. Yeah, they're just stuck back there, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Pointless. They're pushing left a lot. Yeah, come back on top. Back on top. In front of our catwalk. Yeah. Like in front of our ramp room on that crate. But keep the high ground as long as you can. Coming left. You can be a bit in front of us, Thomas. So you can deny them on right. Right, sorry, just two. Drop it's too late, too late. They already have high ground. Come back. Like, don't shoot the push if I die, we could have killed a lot, lot more. I killed the demo, but we couldn't get any more. Matt still, still has Uber, Matt still has Uber. 165, yeah, right? Careful. I'm getting ammo and health. They're going right. right. Spam early. Right I'm inside already. Tonmas is behind them. Not oh, no, no. Okay, no. come out. Wrong map. Yeah, Sam, still have it, yeah. I've got Uber, I've got Uber now. Yeah, push, push into Talk. them. So I'm in. Popping. Come on. So just behind us. Okay, we need to I'm clear, clear behind them. Oh, no. Clear behind them. No, the soldier's yeah, behind, guys. Don't chase anymore. We need to fight the soldier okay, on the yeah. second. He's on top still. Scott, he took 45. The soldier's soldier. behind us. Scott, see. One soldier's dead. Second soldier's still on top in the launch box. I need to reload. The Scott okay, get the soldier's still oh. top. Top. Go on, you have top, sir. Soldier's still Nice to sound. We like every damage. This one's got Scott is on us. Scott is rushing our medic. I'm Z. He's out. He's dead, I mean. Push left, yeah, we've got 50% advantage Let's again. Let's scout and demo alive. Check for the scout. I'm checking right. Really solid play coming out from dogs all of a sudden. As they uh, bait the Russians into overextend and then coming up with that counter pop. They found the frags, they turned it around, dealt with a threat. Good calls from Kratos and his team seemed to be responding. It was a bit close. It could have gone horribly wrong, especially if a drop happened there. Uh, but again, they did everything, uh, you know, by the book, and uh, they've actually for been forced off here. I'm not sure what really forced off Honey there. It looks like he was in somewhat of a healthy position. I guess maybe uh, just a bit of a, a nervous pop there going into second. But uh, you know, if it's going to secure that second, maybe it's the price to pay. And humans just seeing if he can make something happen top. But his entire team is there with. Uh, the, the scout he was fighting up against, I think that was Tom Mass, and they're already launching um, themselves into second. I mean, last point now, they've already got some bodies on the point. A lot of cap time, it's very difficult to cap this last point as it has been launched, uh, pushed forward a little bit. Now it's just GDK by himself. The Uber has been popped off, and they're just standing on there, and the rest of Danger Dogs are just fluttering like flies, waiting for them to just slowly ferment and die out. But uh, the respawns on Granary Pro has been pushed forward as well. They're holding on to it. The Shadow Burn Lightning Bolt strikes again. Oh, does it? It gets wiped out by the two remaining players of Danger Dogs, and that is admirable. The first round does go to uh, Danger Dogs. If uh, Shadow Burn is the lightning, then Tonmas must be the copper lightning rod here because he just destroyed those kids. I think he got five frags straight that Uber push, cleaned up all those weak players. And they dealt with Shadowburn and dogs end up taking the first round here. We're on to middle number two. Shadowburn's jumping in high, trying to just land in that upper doorway as the combo were coming through, but actually spotted out and dealt with pretty promptly. Unhuman going down as well. But Forsaken has managed to juke behind. He's only got 20 health though, so not really that much of a threat as Tonmas going deep on mid now. After that 5k, he gets himself four frags so far this round. And that is going to be the complete wipe. Dogs have just found that fifth gear, man. And they are going to steamroll forward, having taken middle on the second. Shadowburn's up top, but he can't really do much here. I'm sure he's going to try, though. Uh, what do you think of uh, Kratos really rocking this uh, quickie bomb launcher all uh, game, really? 
He's been doing it for the last map as well, and it's, he's somewhat been finding success with it. Uh, it's just uh, a weapon that allows you just to fire those pipes and detonate, I mean those stickies and uh, detonate them just a little bit quicker, but in relation to your damage output. But uh, they are pushing out with this Uber onto last now. So, uh, Wyvler has no Uber to defend this whatsoever. It's going to be a really hot defense, a really difficult defense for them to make, but they're making the best of it. Or are they? Uh, Forsaken gets taken out. It's just poor little GDK left, not again. And now it's gone 2-0 to uh, Danger Dogs. Maybe they found their tempo admirable. Yes, <laughs> like dogs with bones. <laughs> they are uh, just going nuts here. This is incredible. I want to know what exactly is the secret to their success. Thanks, Rob. You let the dogs out. I think we have a bomb. <laughs> Demo's on the floor. Demo took 56 on the health cut. He's bottom right, far back. Boss got supplied. I heard a soldier left. There he is. Really wait, high wait, 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 here, wait here. Drop yeah, down wait. bottom right. Drop bottom right. One One down. Down. We zoom now, getting good here. Go right. Go, come here, come here, come here. Follow, follow. Me. Medic down. One scout is out. Two scouts out. Demo I'm, demo I'm chasing, I'm chasing. I'm with you. I'm getting a soldier. Scout. Demo demo's in, demo's on, in on you. He took 80. Dead. So. It's only one scout. He was on second. He was on second. He was gonna be close. Oh, Behind the right side. He's dead. Nice one. Get the HP. Push last already. Get the back mid. <laughs> Get pack, pack and push. One scout in the cap. Come with us. Okay, I'll I'll in cap soon. No Three response. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I'll be on second. I'll everyone, can go. everyone can go. Oh, we didn't get. I'll catch no, it's fine. Just second. <laughs> There's something behind. Yeah, it's all late. He Scold. killed me. I didn't meant you. <laughs> oh my god. The secret is clearly honey on his sick memes. <laughs> this guy has yeah. balls to steal. He's in here. Is, is he a merc or is he actually on the roster now? And uh, he comes out with one laners like that? Are you serious? Yeah, keeping team morale up, he has completely crushed the spirits of uh, Serpents. It seems there's going to be no memeing happening in that Russian mumble, as uh, they are picking up their third uh, point of the game, and it's always barely been the, half, the halfway mark at my level. They might actually invoke the Mercy Rule uh, for once. I'm not sure that would be a treat to see, but you actually see uh, it's the Serpents are taking the upper hand on this mid. This time Razor Z is trying to make the best of it, but does get cleaned up by Kenzie. And now it's going to be tide turning to Serpents. Let's see if they can have just as much convincing momentum from uh, them as were the Danger Dogs these previous middles. And JDK is already walking forward, Forsaken uh, jumps in, tries to pressure off Honey, but it, Honey's brought down very low, he's up against, back against the wall, has to pop off the Uber, Shadowburn gets uh, killed for his efforts, but that's all by, by, by him, kill or force, it's all good in his books, and now they've got point pressure on this second point, but they don't want to give it up without a fight, they're uh, firing at all cylinders here on human, uh, cleans up, raises those, they're Folks and everybody on this left hand side, nobody's noticed on the human and the human is trying to get on top of Honey Badger but he's been completely shut down by the inter enemy team just keeping him up afloat in that air, gunning him down in the sky and now it's just the soldiers left on them uh, over on Serpents if they can just spam off this point but that blast door is just keeping them safe and now they're just trying to rush in from this uh, right hand side, they're even slightly baiting I'm not sure, now they are backing up to mid admirable. Gonna abuse the team calm some more. Let's go, Danger Dogs. So does that. Kratos is in. Oh, I can't get them. Also, they got them out. Get yeah, higher once our catwalk. Cap time. Come our catwalk. They're gonna come from left. Fast, yeah, fast, I'm fast, moving catwalk. backwards. Yeah, fast, fast, fast. You don't need to heal on middle. Yeah, I'm going catwalk then. Get position now. Mid down. No, <laughs> nice. I'm on high ground, high ground. I'm taking right. I'm on right crate. I'll meet Honey. You can Don't go forward, Carlo, yeah. if you want. I'm, I'm with Honey. 40% advantage already. Let me build. Yeah, just keep building. Wait for Zoop and then push from right. Okay, well, I can give you a full block now if you want. You Getting push block now. Come on. Come on. I'm doing something. Resident sleeper, please. Wait for Zoop. Go forward, man. Where's just the fucking the pushing? Medics. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, what a job. <laughs> They've got absolutely no heals, and they're not pushing this second. Look at it now. The doors are literally inviting you to push in. They, we couldn't make it any easier. We made this map custom made to uh, keep the constant action flowing, and Danger Dogs want to stay on mid? Good god, and now they're finally pushing in. They've 
uh, met up with the action. They popped in their Uber, Zoob, the person that they were waiting for. Let's see what he can deliver on. So far, he's laid out one damaging rocket, pushed them out, and that is it. He considers his job well done. He does get the cleanup kill on the human top, but, uh, you know, that's all they did, though. They just Ubered in one soldier, and then that... Uh, they just picked up second. I'm not sure they really had to wait for Zoop for that. Tom Mash going in deep for GDK, but doesn't land a single damaging shot onto him. Kalho randomly picking up Shadowburn somewhere. I didn't even miss that. Zoop was the only man who could waste that Uber. They had to <laughs> wait for him to come back through time to go in, not even kill the medic or get a single frag, and then die. Finish your destiny, Zoop. Is Razor's right. Edge, Razor's Edge baiting them around this corner. Oh, he picks up the kill onto Kenzie. What a sick little twist of events. But uh, they, uh, you actually see Kratos trying to delay time uh, on Serpents, but Forsaken pushing forward. GDK left to cap, and now the Uber's been popped off uh, for White Glow. Probably trying to keep Forsaken alive, I suppose. But uh, again, another waste, uh, wasted Uber on the cards. And look at this destructive Uber coming out from Zoob. That's what they were waiting for, in my opinion. They cleaned up... Uh, uh, I can't have lost my words. Kratos, they cleaned up Kratos, they cleaned up Tom Mas. Forsa uh, Forsaken is actually, that's their team, good god. And now they're over on second and they haven't quite made the impactful Uber that they were, thought they were going to have. But uh, Razor's Edge caught out onto the second point here. I finally Shadow found Burns my middle. And Shadowburn's again over on middle, <laughs> over at the back. And uh, he's picked up Honey, so that's a big kill for Shadowburn. Calho is managing to just stay alive by these health packs, almost getting cleaned up by uh, Unhuman there. He will be cleaned up in the end. Kratos and crew try to go turn aggressive. They have picked up the kill onto White Glow and GDK, but they are going to pick up the, uh, the mid at the very least for Serpents. Whew, so much action. I can't even keep my words straight at my apple. Don't worry about it. You're doing a stand up job. <laughs> Put my thumb up at the screen. I'm making the okay sign as well. Tasty. Right now, it's uh, 3 0 Danger Dog, still 12 minutes left on the clock. Unhuman hiding here up at the little race up. And a slight Uber advantage for Dog, so they're probably going to be pushing at some point. Um, on the left hand side, on the Serpent's perspective, we do see uh, Kenzie peeking, and he's going to see that the entire Dog's combo is coming out. Uh, from that right hand side, Shadowburn's trying to ghost in behind them, but he kind of whiffs his jumps there, kills his own momentum, and Human gets spotted out by Kalio as well. And Dogs, being very methodical here, gonna clean up both threats and still have a little bit of Uber advantage in the tank. If they just go now, they could gun it and catch White Glow out. They're hesitating a little bit, now they're going in deep. Kenzie's forced back behind, but manages to juke around and survive. White Glow gets the charge as well, and the counter pop comes in. How many players are Dogs gonna lose? That is the question. Kratos and Honey both down on the same spawn wave. Zoob get wrecked by Forsaken. It's all on Kalho to try and jump in and finish off White Glow, but White Glow just surfs on top deftly and survives on 80 health there. Well played by Serpents, just totally sucking up the entirety of that dog's pressure. 11 minutes on the clock. The, uh, the comeback is still a huge possibility for Serpents, and 11 minutes is plenty of time to make that. They are poking about in this top area, Shadowburn and Human just feeding out this left hand side and the top area, seeing what they're in uh, for on this last point. White Glow is just building up that Uber in the meantime, Razor's Edge does get the pick onto Unhuman, but it's not going to bother Serpents too much, they're just waiting about anyway for this Uber, and maybe this even allows uh, the Serpents to off-class a little if they feel too sheepish about making this last push, but I really think they should just hammer it home, they have got like a sizable 30% advantage there. White Glow's have been forced off in this top uh, lobby area very early, he's brought down to very... Uh, low amounts of health and they can't quite deal with Tom Mass over on this heavy and uh, he's being buffed up by Honey. Kenzie's coming in behind, he has cleaned up a few players uh, over on Danger Dogs but not quite all of them. Zoo finishes him off, GDK uh, finally kills off Tom Mass with the quickie bomb launcher himself. He is uh, taking a page out of Kratos's bug and Kratos can't quite uh, hit the pipes under the human. I'm not sure uh, if they've got quite got this last push in the bag on human actually takes out honey dancing around fluttering around them whilst they were waiting for respawn as buying time but it was just all playing into a human's hand picking off the medic right in front of their eyes and now Shadowburn all, uh, he almost gained picking up the kill over onto Calho at the top there this is the chance they could actually make a push here they've got absolutely no heals they're buffing up a few players here and there but they just don't dare risk it admirable 
filthy drop there on human landing the meaty shots. Uh, Honey's back on the field now, so there will be some heals available, but White goes coming in. He's got heals and he's got an uber charge. He's going to pop off early and send Forsaken forward to GDK. Kenzie's just running into these kids, shredding them with a scatter gun. Uh, but as the dust settles, it's a two on two here. White go and Kenzie versus Razor's Age and Zub. They're just trying to stay on this point. Kenzie dancing. White go comes in with the uber sauce. Razor's Age oh. gets the main pick, but stamps off the point just for half a second there. And Kenzie gets the cap. Razor's Age probably could have taken that fight too, but oh dear. Oh dear. He did a hair pee. Forgot to step on the point. <laughs> oh, pause Ray Razor's Edge there. You're just battling uh, against yourself, trying to keep yourself on the point, but at the same time, dodging all the f uh, fire and melee uh, like souls from uh, White Glow there. And there's just only so much I suppose one scout can do. And the, uh, we are launched into the fourth, fifth middle of uh, the fight, and we'll see what they can claim from here. Both players, I mean both teams lose out on the player on mid, Shadowburn gets in, uh, Zoo getting a nice healthy kill onto Shadowburn now, seeing if they can just push across the point here, and uh, Wyglow dishing out some very nice uh, like arrow heals over on this mid to keep his scouts into it, but not quite uh, enough though, as they do lose GDK during all the ruckus, Sh uh, Razor's Edge pushing forwards, opting to leave uh, Tommas on the cap instead. And they've almost claimed second point for their own as well. The scouts are trying their best to hold on to it. They've actually dedicated the Uber to this, but they've popped with their own Uber. Zub is taking the majority of this. A little flash here and there, and uh, we'll see who quite ho uh, who holds out onto this little uh, end over end of Ubering skirmish. And it seems to be going flowing towards the dogs. And uh, they picked up that second high ground. They've completely overwhelmed Shadowburn on this right hand side. He has to back out. And now you see Forsaken trying to bomb in, lay into the huge blob, but the blob is way too big. It's just eating up every single mass inside. And Kenzie does clean up the kill on the ton mass, but the point pressure is already there for Razor's Edge. It is over uh, for that round. Danger Dogs will pick up their fourth round of the map so far. It's making that comeback much harder for serpents to get back into it admirable i'm gonna see uh, what exactly danger dogs are thinking on mid do they have a plan they're all just pouring in now let's get took a direct cults. pipe the demo took a direct pipe from middle just got the left got top left too aggressive we're too far back here we've got so many people yeah wait 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 wait, wait. we have good soldiers jumping in yeah. soldier on bottom yeah i mean just trust me we have he's 50 we can still get windows so <laughs> Yeah, that's still right. Match full. I died. Don't uh -oh. cross, but do the same thing all the time. Try and block middle, try and block middle. They might mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll wait a bit. Okay, go now. You should go. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> say house, say Let's house, go. say house. <laughs> do you, do you trust me in my world? Trust me, I'm gonna jump in and do zero damage. Okay, <laughs> try house. After I've already beat it, you all out. I'm not oh sure what they expected there. Maybe they expected to just leave one scout on the cap towards the last. A lot of players do do that, and maybe Razor's Edge could pick up the kill there, but he got completely minced. Uh, maybe they expected Razor's Edge to just pop around the corner there. Zub gets on top of the point. What a bomb by Zub to also defend the point and get a huge amount of damage, piercing the armor of Serpents, and what a defense coming out from Danger Dogs. TDK with a huge pick on to Honey, though. Uh, so that... This is going to limit just the amount of territory that Danger Dogs can take here. Kratos knows that taking control of middle is uh, too tall an order. He sets up a little forward sticky trap there uh, in the rump room then backs off a little bit. Or I thought he had. Maybe he changed his mind. He debts but doesn't yield to any frags. He's in a fairly safe position but meanwhile on the right hand side Kalho has the Lone Aggressor tries to get in on the White Girl, gets him down to 50 health and there's a lot of weak players there just on the Serpent side but dogs don't want anything to do with it. They're just trying to defend their 4-1 lead here. They're going to force the Russians into some unfavorable engagements. They're slightly behind in this Uber race but it's only 10%. They're probably going to be able to kite this. But I like what Serpents are doing. They're just trying to walk in and Unhumans actually walked in behind it, the spawn door but Tonmas knows he's there and he just walking forward with that minigun spitting out lead so he can't possibly escape had him pinned in there and they do clean up that frag but dogs don't want to push here they're just going to defend they're sticking with that heavy weapons guy turbo tabs 
Yeah, I believe serpents are feeling the squeeze of that time. And look at it, four minutes left at Mirebull. Tick tock, they can just feel the ticking pressure. And GDK just makes a desperate move. They've Ubered in, but it's only a little shadow burn. And he has to deal with a big heavy weapons guy who's just completely uh, pushed him out of the air. Uh, Razor's Edge Sniper to finish him off. Forsaken trying to get some spam in, but he can't quite conceivably think of an entry pick, especially after he just died to Kratos' pipe. And he, uh, Cowhead does die though, but I think it's all well and good for Danger Dogs unless they make the blunder of the century. I think uh, Victory is slowly but surely uh, looking more and more guaranteed. Three rounds, the difference, three minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Granary definitely a map you can park the bus on and slow things down. Tonmas sitting here at 450 health. Kenzie trying to chip away at him with that scope. Zub holding forward. Spams up top then drops down when he sees the sniper and demo. And nice combined fire there. Zub with the direct rocket and Razor's Edge with the charged sniper shot to take Forsaken out. But will we see Victor going for an off class here as they realize what exactly they're against on the defense? Well, they're all they're just like going all in onto the Kenzie basket and uh... Why is nobody pressuring Kenzie? In. He's just nope. walking in here! I suppose they just don't care. I think uh, at this point now they've just about won it. I'm not sure if it's even mathematically possible to make Forsaken the combat on heavy. This is Forsaken's answer to heavy. It's probably a, a pretty solid one as well. He's gonna run his own heavy. And they're trying to execute a push here from the lower right. Shadowburn's gonna peek forward. He knows he can't jump so easily against that heavy weapons guy but now he gets a flash of everybody's gonna jump forward the pop comes in white glow's gonna make his way back out but kenzie's dicing with death there somehow all the serpents survive just slithering on back there to second kenzie peeks again but he's not really finding anything the scouts of serpents playing quite passively but they're just waiting for a frag to be set up and unhuman drops from the window and drops calhoun but razor's edge with a quick response onto kenzie there uh ddk gonna jump in Kind of surfing forward there on the damage and ends up just getting obliterated. This heavy weapons guy still has 300 plus HP. Forsaken's coming in with his own fat man, but he's just going to get chipped away. He's got no heals there either. And Serpent's just struggling to come up with an answer. They can't seem to break this one, Turbo Tabs. I believe it's all said and done in my ball. The fat lady has sung his. Uh, the fat lady has sung her song. And GG has even been called by Forsaken himself. One minute and 40 seconds left on the clock. The spirit has been broken before the game has. And Calho is going to be just pushed across by uh, Shadowburn and Unhuman. And oh, a stylish little headshot onto Shadowburn whilst he was in midair there. It's just the duck shooting for Razor's Edge. I can hear the, the word Nanoob coming out uh, in, from the comms from here. And Tom Mass uh, even getting the Uber popped onto him to really secure this last... Uh, Point now, uh, defending against that uber pushing from serpents, they are slightly benefiting it here and there, but uh, I, they're just losing just as many bodies as the, they are over on Danger Dogs. And Calho even equalizing that now. Uh, GDK is trying to fight up against Calho, but it's way too much for them to deal with. It's just Shadowburn left, and I don't know what there's more to be said of Marvel. Serpents have uh, given up. And human is going to switch up to the engineer. He is build up a sentry gun here build on CP2. Time. Build more time. 35 seconds on the clock. And he's moved that sentry gun. Kenzie's just going to snipe though. And he is probably their best hope of finding a frag here. GDK though is uh, <laughs> going to get smashed. Kenzie looking for a pick. He's. Oh, he's gonna headshot, honey. What? And then another yeah, on the Razor's Edge. What? Kenzie no, Toggle! No. Oh, Can on the it? sick bill. He's looking oh, for another headshot oh, here. Headshot on the heavy. Can he get the fifth? The fifth? Oh no, <laughs> he completely denies it, Shadowburn. Why? That's not. That could be made Brutal. a lovely frag. Clip. If only he'd done that three minutes earlier, they might be in with a chance here. Well, if you've got a minute left on, uh, left on the game, you're not gonna get any wins but good god you're gonna get a lot of frags for that frag clip show Kenzie uh, really showing that he is a dominant sniper he just can't quite find it in those previous 27 minutes of the game so that is it I believe it's a three point apiece admirable 
Danger dogs take one map and serpents take the other. Literally hacking, man. Blatant, blatant hacks. Please, anti-cheat team, ban this Ukrainian hacker. That was unreal. But dogs uh, coming up with a map win here, quite surprising to me for sure. Turbo tabs, they seem to be uh, kind of all at sea on sunshine, but it, they definitely knew what they were doing on Granary. Yeah, it's my theory, man. Uh, serpents need at least two weeks on a map if they want to show any sort of, I guess, progression or... I think I you suppose, could be right, yeah. but one of the the standout plays was, or the differences was that Tonmas really woke up. I was, uh, you know, lambasting how mediocre the dog scouts were in Sunshine, but Tonmas showed up and he ends up with a 3.5 kill assist to death ratio, putting up 30 frags, 12 assists, and 12 deaths, 231 DPM. Beasting and Kratos as well put out some pretty efficient numbers there 25 for 9, 10. 319 damage per minute. Even Razor's Edge stepping up. 26 wow. for 18 for 14. So, like, these scouts understanding how to play Granary, it's kind of different from a lot of other maps for scout. But uh, really staying alive and cleaning up. David wow. the Wind's ch challenging us to go to the air shots here, Turbo, and if you sort it by that tab, Forsaken, 15 air shots, Shadowburn, 10. Then Zub and Kahlo tied for 9 just below that. But that is... That's a hell of a lot of air shots, man. Yeah, they don't call it the soldier map for nothing at Mario Ball. It pretty much puts a map full of tall little areas, almost skyscrapers, uh, into TF2, and you're bound to just get these huge air shots come out. But uh, air shots don't quite convert to capture points, as you can tell, and uh, it seems all right in Danger Dogs books. They will walk away with three points, and those points are very, very vital for Danger Dogs. They're not going to quite get the six points, get out a free jail card that they were looking for, but three points will do for now, I believe. Honey, uh, doing a great job. Does end up dropping once more than White Claw again, but put up some really uh, sick heal numbers there. Died ten times to White Glow's twelve. Actually got a frag himself as well, and of course that that rallying call of who let the dogs out? That doesn't show up in the logs, man, but uh, what, what a difference that made for his team. Just when they were, you know, gaining that momentum. The new the new rallying cry, who let the dogs out? <laughs> Twitch chat going berserk, man. They were loving it. <laughs> but uh, again, you know, you can see that dogs have a plan on mids. They win four out of the six middles, but this time they were actually able to turn those into rounds on, like, on Sunshine. Uh, we said at the end of the first map, the scouts need to show up if there's going to be a, a change of story here. And it seems that they did. I'm almost surprised by these logs. I knew Ton, Ton Mass was going base mode, but Razor's Edge as well. Put up some good numbers there. Yeah. Um, I... Again, so I suppose it's just, uh, like you said, Danger Dogs really did pick up their game over on Granary, but uh, I believe you just see how much uh, Serpents are lost on the Granary. It seems they, it doesn't look like they've been pre practicing it or playing it at all. It seems they just go by the autopilot tempo and just look going by the, how they played Granary before. Like the matchup between GDK and Kratos. Kratos kind of dunks on GDK stats wise. GDK only 11 frags, 23 deaths. And. Perhaps that's why the the scouts were having such success this time. All on a lot of uh, granary mids traditionally, the demo man is the guy who's looking to chip away at the scouts, make it hard for them a little bit. GDK seems to be finding it difficult to gain any traction there. But we are being joined by players, Turbo Tabs, so maybe we could talk to them. I hope the Russians are going to join us. If you're listening, Kenzie and Forsaken, come into Mumble. But right now, in Mumble, we do see Honey and Kalio. Congratulations. Commiserations, I don't know. How do you feel about that result? A tie, is that good? Mm. Uh, it's okay. I, I don't really mind, to be honest. I'm not part of the team, so... What was your expectation, Kalio? Were you hoping to take six points here and avoid relegation? Uh, well, we have to be optimist, but it wasn't that bad, I don't know. No, no, it went pretty well. I think uh, we had a practice scrim on Sunshine, it didn't go too well, and we played pretty well on Granary, so it's probably why the score's been this way. Kalio, talk to us about your new medic, honey. 
How's he performing? How's he fitting in with the team? <laughs> mm, I'm not sure he's not. Is he our new medic? I think it's just my. I'm not kidding. No, no, yeah. he's, he's obviously your new medic. Who let the dogs out? Did you not hear that? That was genius. <laughs> you didn't hear that, fuck. Honey, uh, tell us a little bit about your. Uh, your 6v6 history like is this your premiership debut this is indeed my premiership debut um at the moment i'm in a team in high we're top at the moment we drew a top five a few fixtures ago mm-hmm. so doing um pretty well in there so hopefully we can get into prem anyway hopefully how did you make it into this premiership circle jerk then who who invited <laughs> you who gave you the big call up kratos did we uh we scrimmed them we uh, had a good game. We drew on Sunshine, I think, again, uh, but we beat them eventually, and they were impressed. What can I say? It was fun. Yeah, it's really good. And Kratos is a nice guy as well, and he did a lot of damage in the game, so... Fair play. But he, he hasn't decided to join us for an interview. Instead, he sent Calo. As someone who's not in the team. <laughs> Come on, Calo, give us some insight. Don't just mm. be so aloof okay. and Portuguese. What are the, the plans for Danger Dogs beyond this season? You know, you guys are currently bottom of the table. I think you're still going to be there after this result. Are you going to fold? What's happening in 2016? Uh, well, we haven't spoken about it at all. So I guess we'll see when the season ends. We'll see if anyone wants to continue or not. You used to be, to you know, you used to be contesting the top three, man. You were in playoffs, Kalu, right? Uh-huh. And now you're here with Danger Dogs? What? That's happened that was, to your TF2 career. <laughs> that was long ago. <laughs> well, um, I'm not even sure. It's the black box nerf. That's what it is, the black box nerf. <laughs> Maybe it is. Apparently, uh, Skeege has been kicked. Um, no, he wasn't kicked. From what I was told, it was for the, it was for the greater good. So everyone agreed. So. Down. Come on, Calho, I need to know details, juicy details, foaming oh. at the mouth here. We need to know what's been going off in that Danger Dogs mm. mumble. He actually, uh, he made a statement on the, the event page. Skate oh, says, yeah, well, oh. I'll, I'll read it out. Skate says, I'm not playing, by the way. Playing with dogs has possibly been my least enjoyable <laughs> period of playing sixes in all my time of playing TF2. This does not have to do with the team members on a personal level, but with the way we have been playing. I've been on the verge of leaving the team for a while now, and eventually I just found myself playing in a state of complete apathy. Talked with Kratos, and we decided it's for the best that I step back before I'd go full on the hair pee. <laughs> Dogs will play the upcoming games with Honey Badger, and I wish them the best of luck in those games. There you go. A very political response. Yeah, all of that makes sense. But uh, what sort of play is he talking about, Calho? What was the breaking point? What broke the camel's back? I mean, uh, it's hard to enjoy it that much when you're losing, so it's just that. He just uh, doesn't like losing at all. Well, who likes? Nobody does. The dogs have got their bark back now. <laughs> They've got their bark <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's leave it now. Oh, oh, oh. We need a stat for memes per minute. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like we're going to get Forsaken or Kenzie in for some Ooh. Blunt Force trash talk Shadow trauma. Shadowburn interview. How is he going to get that dollar if he isn't going to contribute those perks? Yeah, was Shadowburn playing on his brother's crappy laptop then? Is that... Yeah, yeah, but he believes so. That's what he said over on the uh, TFTV forums. Clearly then, that is why they did not take all six points, but this game mm. is kind of inconsequential in terms of who's going to make the playoffs and uh, that's going to be coming up in a couple of weeks time I think it's like towards the end of the month along with that other big exciting thing Dreamhack Winter uh, one thing I want to mention actually Turbo Tabs is the well I suppose David the Wind's message and saying mention the Epsi fundraiser those scroungers, Epsilon, <laughs> they need money to go to DreamHack Winter. Uh, I don't know. They're just an absolute joke in terms of organization, but maybe you can you know, compensate them for that by actually giving them your hard-earned cash and making sure that they go 
to Sweden and we actually end up with a, a good competition. Think of DreamHack winter like an ex- exhibition for a competitive Team Forest 2. It's not an official tournament at the event, but it's going to be on in the exhibition hall. We'll be able to demonstrate what competitive TF2 is like. We're going to send some hype casters there to hype up, but we need some hype teams to get excited <coughs> about. You need to give your money to Epsilon. It's your duty, Twitch chat. Splash that cash. But the thing I did want to mention as well is that uh, there's also the GameSense Monthly Mayhem tournament uh, being run on the Razor Arena. The format's kind of changed recently. It was going to be like where you could play on the same day every week for the month, but now it's just all happening on Wednesday due to per signups. But make sure that you go and sign up for that. I think there's still a few days left to get involved with that. And there's also going to be the Cups every Sunday that'll be happening as well. Our Danger Dog's going to be playing in the Razor Cup, Calio. Uh, is there a Razor Cup? I, I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> when is it? <laughs> Our PR is so terrible. Do we have to go to every Prem team and tell them there's a cup happening? <laughs> I don't well, know the exact date. On the bright side, though, can I, uh, on the right side, though, my well, maybe if we uh, tell them that we will here at Team Fortress TV, we will be casting a few games here and there so, over in this Razor Cup. Maybe that'll entice the Prem teams and maybe some few other teams here and there to sign up. I hope so. It's going to be every Wednesday, though, if you want to play the the longer cup. That's a thousand dollars cash money available for that at the end of it, and then the Sunday cups uh, you can win like a hundred and twenty dollars worth of vouchers. Kratos says <laughs> he messaged me on Steam and says, "Won't play Razor Cup cause fuck TF2, Overwatch all the way." There you go, guys. That's the real story in <laughs> TF2 right now. Overwatch. Oh, no. He said the O word. I've just triggered Twitch chat. Sorry, sorry in advance. But yeah, Overwatch is getting a lot of attention. Go and support all those top-level TF2 players who are making waves. You've seen Seagull getting 6,000 viewers, 7,000 some days. TF2 players bringing it to the devs. TF2 players bringing it to the Quake pros as well. Uh, just any outlet to demonstrate what how great our scene is. You know, I'd get behind that. But since the Russians aren't coming turbo tabs, I'm prepared to wrap things up here. Have you got any final thoughts? Any shout-outs? Can can I do a shout-out? Go for it, honey. honey. For my debut. I want to shout-out to Fane and my whole team and Method as well. That's it. Oh, and TF2 pickup, I have to. There we go, that's it. How about you, Cal? I have to shout-out my sponsors. They have to pick up all the way. Nice. Look at these guys, so efficient at talking about their sponsors. I guess uh, I'll just have a Big shout out to uh, probably uh, just to Saloon.tf for obviously sponsoring uh, Season 22. Uh, big shout out to uh, all the DreamHack staff that uh, have been working furiously behind the scenes, especially a big one to Sideshow, who is just doing a good job no matter how much is put onto his plate. Yeah, I think that's be done. Shout out to David the winner, our cameraman tonight. And uh, keep an eye on teamforest.tv forward slash schedule for all the upcoming games. If I take a look at it right now, in fact, I can tell you that we've got two games on Tuesday or Thursday, right, Turbo? Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Oh, uh, maybe some of them have been moved, apparently, David says. I thought but, there was three of them, but one of them got moved, and then it made that two. So, uh, oh, it's actually Tilt will be on Monday now. So that's the next Monday, I imagine. Solid. We figured it out. Also, guys, uh, Highlander Season 9 has started, so Blackout Gaming TV is going to be your source of plenty of Premiership Highlander casts. I mean, be playing in a few of them. That's what you really want to see. You're right. Fuck Overwatch. No, <laughs> no, wait, I'm so confused right now. I'm not used to all these sponsors and plugs and all these things happening in TF2 at my both. There's just so much to <laughs> shout out to. <laughs> That's going to be it for tonight, anyway, guys. Thanks for tuning in, Twitch chat. Spam some minglies in there. Just to bring us out, David the Win. Play some funky music, white boy.